If one pokes around Signalis' code long enough, they will eventually find that at one point in time, Adler was going to be a boss fight. That we would likely have to fight either during the fault fight or in its individuality. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off what we can find that remains in the code of this fight, and my theories on why it may have been removed. So with no more delay, let's begin. So to find this scene, one can go on the Xbox version of the game, the Game Pass version, and should be able to find a scene within it if they asset rip, export to Unity, do all those steps, or use Unity Explorer, but I don't think Unity Explorer works on the Xbox version. Um, but either way, you're eventually going to find a scene called Somewhere. This scene would have been where the battle with Adler would have occurred. Looking around this scene, you can see it is one of wire mazes, featuring ample amounts of wire to trap you in, as well as just being dark and gloomy with lots of meat. Uh, this seems to indicate that the boss fight with Adler would have been less of the full-on confrontation that we did with Folk, and rather would have been a running from Adler in the maze, likely trying to outlast some sort of timer to return to the boss fight with Folk, or to just clear the maze, though there isn't really any clear location within the maze that could possibly be an end point for it, unless the centerpiece, uh, the ladder going down, is indicated to be that center point. Either way, this type of fight would have fit Adler's personality far more than a outright confrontation because Adler is known to be the tankiest of builds. Likely, as you tried to clear this maze over time, obstacles would have appeared to slow down your progress besides just our favorite administrator. In the code, we see this as there are various meat objects that, when you enable them, take up large amounts of space on the maze, as well as a large gate and wire that both seem to block lots of areas off. Also in the maze, there is a coffin. There's a chance that this is where Folk would have been lying in to start the Folk fight, but honestly, there isn't any leftover code that honestly suggests that, as the code around the coffin is just isolated. It's just an isolated object. So maybe we would have interacted with it, maybe we wouldn't have. Folk is also able to be spawned in this scene, meaning there is a chance that she would have fought with you in the maze, but personally, I don't believe that. I have my doubts about that. Um, and that's largely because th the maze is very crowded and folk is very much designed to be a high, you need to dodge the bullet hell, like kind of like a Toru boss. Th the maze does not have enough movability to actually make that possible. And if you put folk in the maze, most likely the player would die. Um, so next we can look over at really what there is in this code aside from the actual battle. Um, so first up, we have the wire mesh that surrounds this scene. It's called a ring, and the circular shape of it kind of reminds me of the other cut memorial scene we see, but uh, honestly, that could be a stretch. Sadly, there is no rendering on this shape, so we can't see what the intended design would have looked like, but we can take our guesses. It's a circle. Um, next, we have Adler with his signature mask named Nilarthip. I am 100% sure I pronounced that wrong. It's a cool Lovecraftian reference in a game that has lots of them. I don't think it has any lore importance, and even if it did, you can't get lore out of data mining. It's not allowed. Looking at his animation list, though, we can see his animations are, much like many other enemies in Signalis, tied to the Yules. Trying to play them in Unity didn't work out for me, but I've seen clips that he would slowly walk towards the player with the knife behind his back before lunging out and stabbing them. I'm going to take a moment to play the animations as they work in Unity. They're kind of humorous to look at because of just how broken they are. So the creepy vibes of the maze combined with the Falk boss fight and combined with, you know, Adler stalking you likely would have caused the player to freak out and make mistakes, meaning the point of the maze wouldn't have been that it's difficult, but it would have been more so that it's you're going to take damage because you're panicking, walking into the wires, or getting caught by Adler. This is kind of the exact same way that the mazes in Nowhere work, specifically the one where enemies spawn in or the sacrifice part. This is identical to how that works, and most likely, uh, at least there's a chance that the concepts that went into the Adler fight were either inspired by the sacrifice part in Nowhere or the sacrifice part in Nowhere was inspired by this. So why do I think this was removed? I think that is a complicated question, and I think there are a couple of reasons we can look at that possibly could work. Number one, it would break up the intensity of the fault fight. This scene is, at least in terms of mood and typing, 
an exact opposite of the folk fight. The, the folk fight is a very intense battle of all the firepower you have being thrown against a literal god. You're dodging bullets. You know, enemies are spawning. It's very intense. The music's intense. Having each scene, you know, when you run up and you stab folk with a spear, being broken up by running from Adler, of all people, would honestly reduce the impact of that final fight and just kind of make it less impactful. Number two is balancing. As I already said, you can't put folk in that maze, the player will die. So that already creates kind of a, a large issue in that these two parts have to be very, very separated. But that's not the only problem. Folk's fight in the higher difficulties can be genuinely difficult. I know for people like me who have played the game over and over and over again, it doesn't feel that way. And I know other people don't think it was. But lots of people have struggled on the folk fight, specifically in the higher difficulties. Adding more phases, and especially one specifically designed to take HP from you and give no worthwhile rewards. I mean, Adler's chasing you around, the wire is damaging you, that's lots of damage. And if you look around the code of this room, there is no spawns for any healing items, there's no spawns for anything that can possibly help Elster ammo-wise or anything. So this is a scene designed to take from you. And I think it would have made it far harder and perhaps too hard to really complete at that point. I feel like the devs most likely realized this going into development and were like, no, this is just too much. Um, their counter argument that is very solid here would be, well, why didn't they just add heals? Why didn't they just add more items in this scene? Um, which could be a result of, you know, they scrapped this early on, didn't really get a chance to add those items. And that's very fair, but I still think it just, the difficulty level would have been just not worth it. Folks, difficult enough, you don't need more scenes. The third and final reason, and honestly the reason that I'm most ardent behind, is story-wise. When I think about things getting removed in Signalis, I almost always focus on story. It feels like when a lot of stuff that we look at, why did it get removed, it really seems like it was done in the essence of story. That's why Memorial was likely removed. Um, I think this fight would have distracted from the main battle between Elster and Falk. From a story perspective, the battle between Elster and Falk is making two parts into a whole. Or at least that's how it's conveyed in a lot of ways. Adding in the random Adler, who is not a part of any hole, and is just there chasing you around with a knife, would have weakened the importance of the battle from a story perspective, would have weakened the importance of just Elster destroying and overcoming folk. And I think it, more importantly, going further out, the, the final lines of Adler at the end of the game are extremely important in understanding the game. They're, they're very integral to understanding a lot of things about what's going on, who Adler is, what's going on. It just overall, you don't want to weaken those lines. You don't want to make those lines into questionable things. And part of what makes them so powerful is you have that part where Elster just blasts him. And I don't think that scene would have held nearly as much weight as if the player had just spent 20 minutes sprinting around a maze, running from Adler with a knife, probably shooting him with his, their pistol. You know, this is the only time we see Elster shoot Adler in the game. Why would we add a second scene or a boss fight where we shoot him over and over again and it does nothing? Why would it do something here and not there? That now creates a lore question, and it would just undermine the emotional impact overall. But that's my thoughts. In the end, we may never know why it was removed. I still find it cool to uncover stuff like this in the code. I've been poking around a lot lately, and I honestly have a decent bit more to share from the Xbox version, and I also have plans to cover stuff that we see small tidbits from online. So if you're excited, be sure to subscribe and stick around for more. If you'd like to talk to more Signalis players, my Discord link below, Volk Secrets and Lore, or VSL, is a cool place, and joining would make it even cooler, you know? More people, the more the merrier. I usually talk about things that I discover in the code, almost immediately after I discover it in that server. Um, so if you'd like a head start on any of these videos, that is a good place to go. That is all from me today. So hopefully I get to see you all next time.